Greetings, discreet defenders. We have a really fun test on deck for today. Uh, a relative of mine found some old box 22 interceptors by Aguila. These are the 40 grain muzzle velocity rated 1470 out of a rifle. And we are gonna see what they do out of the Ruger LCP-2. I have five of them chambered up. There were only 25 of the Aguilas of the interceptors left in the box when I got it. The box was not in very good shape. So I transferred them into an empty box of CCI. And uh, you can see there's 20 left in there. But I'll leave the empty box up for reference while we shoot the interceptors. Now I'm backed up about four feet from the chronograph. And I've got a brand new Energizer Max battery, which seems to make the aging Pro Chrono very happy. We will see. 928. 908. 977. 938. 934. Not bad. Five shot average of 937 feet per second, which is hotter than the mini mags, not as hot as CCI velocitors, obviously. But you may ask, <laughs> how does it do in jail? After all, front of that bullet is an interesting design in that it is a plated flat nose, not a round nose and not a hollow point. That flat nose is a little bit different, more like, more like the federal punch that we tested back in June. So we are going to load up at least a couple more rounds and put a gel block on the table. All right, that gel column's a good 20 inches long. We've got four layers of cotton t-shirt at the beginning, at the start of the column, just for comparison's sake. And we shouldn't have any trouble getting, oops, safety on, getting a couple of those Aguilas stopped in that, uh, in that amount of distance. Ooh, that's a good amount of power for a 22. And it has escaped out the left side. So obviously we're gonna have to load up another one. But you can all already see that's got good penetration. I mean, it escaped at the 11 inch mark. So those, those flat nose Aguilas are gonna be doing some hard damage. But let's try to center one up really well right here. That's a little better. And uh, all right, that one is stopped at what looks like over 12 inches in the gel. So, We'll drop another one in just to the right of that, a little bit lower. These are really small blocks that I use for 22. And uh, yeah, good, got its own track. 
came in, oh, and it <laughs> exited out the bottom of the block just barely. Again, very similar overall penetration depth. Move those gel blocks back to the edge where they were. And yeah, we definitely have 12 inches of penetration. In fact, a little bit more than 12 on this one. And the exit of, uh, of this guy is just at 11 and three quarter. That, that, call that 12 as well, which is actually pretty consistent performance. Even the, the, the one that truly escaped went uh, a good solid uh, 11 inches before leaving the block. So I'm gonna say the Aguilas are 12 inch penetrators. But just to make sure, since we have effectively the, uh, the excess space available and a good solid fourth melt gel block, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack these guys up in a little bit different order. Maybe I'll shoot through this little guy first since it's completely pristine at the moment. And I'm just gonna make sure we have a complete valid test on these Aguilas. Shoot one more. Four layers of cotton t-shirt on here and make sure that we've got that we've got what we need going on All right, so this time to the end of the second block is just about 15 inches I got a little bit of slide bite off of that. Wow, wow, that's that's a really nice, that's a really, really nice penetrating bullet. Get this out of the way. Slide that all the way back. And that one has gone a good 13 and a half, just counting to the base of the bullet. It's inverted as per typical 22 performance. I don't know if we have room for a for another test. It, it kind of looks like we do. So I'm going to line up four, if I can find four layers without a hole through it, and, sh and drop one in just to the right over here. Last one. Whether it goes or not, I think we get the idea about the performance. Ooh. Yeah, again, that one's veered, almost exited the bottom of the block, but it's gone solidly, what do you call that? That's 12 inches. That's 12 inches. So pull those Aguilas out of there. They go 12, 13 inches every time and this is a good a good good tough fourth melt block I, I sometimes the fourth melts don't come out right but this one definitely did good solid performance by the aguilas all coming in 12 to 13 inches 13 plus and uh i'll lay i'll lay a couple of those down facing facing the camera and zoom in on them here in a minute because man the performance on these that is the interceptor that is the 40 grain interceptor rated for 1470 out of a muzzle or out of a rifle rated for 1470 feet per second out of a rifle definitely not 
getting 1470 out of the little LCP2 by Ruger, but definitely doing very, very, very well. 12 to 13 inches of penetration and 937 feet per second out of the 2.75 inch barrel. I'm gonna say this is a very acceptable round for personal defense. And uh, I would love to get my hands on a new box of this, although these seem to be doing very consistent performance. Um, I've just about load 10 of the last 15 rounds that we own and carry this. It's an awesome round. Thanks folks, this is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.